my life. Absolutely. In addition to the cameras that have been following the pirate staff, hidden cameras have been placed around the bar to capture Nicole's recon. My first impression heading into pirates is they're really in their own little world here. There are some phallic symbols in the back. The waitresses are pouring out of their shirts. All of our drinks are listed in the first couple of pages, including our wine list. So I ordered a glass of wine off the menu. This is my personal choice, so it's on or low. It's a very good one. The staff was very friendly, almost overly friendly, like as if they were trying to cover up for something else. Hello. Do you need any beers? Can I get you anything else? Are you good with that? At some point throughout the night, almost every employee came up to me to find out what I was doing. There's anything else I can do to help facilitate your need. I think these people know who I am. I've been made. Not good. So I just got up and walked out. Have yourself a nice night, all right? Thank you. Come again. With Nicole being made by the pirate staff, she was unable to get a true sense of the customer experience inside. I knew Nicole would stick out like a sore thumb in this place, but I have a backup plan. Bill and Jen Rodenheiser owe me a favor, so I'm having them come out and be my spies tonight. Last year, John saved the chicken bone in Framingham, Massachusetts from certain demise. Think I am not going to get true. people sick. Okay. You let it happen. I'm yep. fixing it. This is yeah. bull John relaunched a new bar called The Bone and gave Bill and Jen Rodenheiser a second chance. John really helped us with our bar, so it was only natural to support him in doing this recon. But unlike Nicole, they are unable to get help from anybody on the staff. I wonder if anybody's here. Wait, there's a pirate. Sorry, do you want to just go back there? Let's just go back. Right. Let's go back. We were waiting for quite a while, so we sat down. Maybe we should, like, check in with someone. <laughs> this is kind of whacked. Uh, sir, can we get some menus? Does anybody work Hi. here? Hi. Oh, just going to see yourselves whatever the you like, I know. Well, we Hi. were waiting and waiting. waiting and waiting. Yeah. There's only one of me and so many of you. It was it was odd. All right, so we're going to get some, let's start off with the grog. A regular or top chef. All depends on how groggy you want to feel the next day. <laughs> I'd like to feel rather <laughs> groggy, please. I think go with the regular, then. It was like a rum, soda, I don't know. Tastes like really bad. It was, um, it was nasty. What's the fresh catch? Fresh catch? Uh, let me check. Just you know, fresh catch today, mahi? Yeah. Yeah, mahi. Yes, mahi. Fresh mahi is fresh. Yes. Okay. Mahi's All fresh. right. The fresh catch was like frozen, I don't know, pond bass or something like that. It was nasty. Oh my god, that's just that was so gross. It was a disgusting chunk of white smelly. I couldn't even take a bite. This sucks. Is this um, your grog? It is. We're honestly struggling a little bit. Is this fresh? That's got to be frozen fish. Is it frozen? If it's the mahi entree, it is, yeah. It's frozen. Oh, well, it wasn't put on the plate. It wasn't put on the grill frozen. This really was a terrible, terrible dining experience. The, the worst I've ever had was horrid. We just got to get out of here. Just, you just, we need, just yeah. yeah. He should be bringing you back the bill, and I did take some stuff off your bill, and I apologize that things weren't up to par for working on it. After an hour inside Pirate's Tavern, Bill and Jen emerged to report their findings. First of all, thanks for doing this for me, guys. Absolutely. What'd you think? It's tough in there. The staff was really odd. It was uncomfortable. How bad was the food? The food was disgusting. It was a mahi, and it was supposed to be fresh. They were frozen products. No truth in menu. What'd you have to drink? I started off with the grog, and I mean, it was just, it was disgusting. I think that they really believe that's a good product to be serving. So you think they think they did it right? I do believe that, wow. yes. Well, I'll tell you guys, this is a strange one, because it runs deep. It's more than just food, <laughs> more than just beverage. There's a cultural thing in this business that's killing it. All right, guys, I'm going to work. All right. I'll see you. Take care. Fairways Golf and Grill doesn't say bar. Looks like a golf store, doesn't it? Absolutely. John is joined in the SUV by Steve Blovat, a professional health inspector. Can I give you all the drink? Margarita, Bloody Mary, whiskey sour, uh, Bay Breeze, Mojito, Irish coffee. Irish coffee, you said? Yeah. I ordered a series of drinks. Every bartender should know how to make. We're going to do uh, three Fairway burgers. 
and then one of everything else. Okay. Beautiful. It's yeah. gonna be a minute. <laughs> oh man. This is ridiculous. Look at this guy, he's freaking out here. This place sucks. Bloody Mary. Margarita. Really, really good. Awesome. Look at Michelle standing behind the bar. She's handling through all of that. Could you pour me a darkest beer? Absolutely. There are bugs in the bar, too. Oh, boy. Clearly has raw product, raw pork, mind you. What raw food is he touching now? <laughs> There's no sanitation. There's no hand washing. There's no gloves being used. There's no separation from raw to cooked product. I don't know how he lasted eight months. Look at that bowl. Oh, look at that. That bowl has not been cleaned since this place opened. If he dropped. Oh. And they're putting that over food. This is inexcusable, absolutely. She's pouring the profit away. Right off. And the keg is killed. We don't have another keg. Are you kidding me? We don't have another keg. Mm -mm. Look at everything that's in the frosted oh, wet. And then look at the over. Holy <laughs> The first thing that hit my tongue was a very, very hard metallic taste. Oh, oh dude. That's bad. Right when it hit the bottom of my stomach, I knew something was wrong. My stomach started curdling. Beer starts to go bad after around three months. So I'm thinking the keg had to have been sitting there for at least a year. Any chance you can check on some food for me to see how, how we're doing? I am. We're 29 minutes in. OK. Don't growl at me. I'm just wondering how long he's asking. One person. So here comes the food for Chef Duffy. We got some chips and queso and some chips and salsa. Fried mushrooms. Fried mushrooms. Very nice. Hey, Michelle, do you have a bathroom? Do we have a bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Um, right back there to the left. Dude, I think this might come up right now. Fairways, fairways burgers? Three fairways, medium. Yes. Yes, sir. Just so you know, medium doesn't bleed, so I got bloody medium. You guys make your own salsa in-house? We do. You do. <laughs> oh, my god, he threw up. Caitlin, did you see where my buddy went by chance? Can you check, check for me? Thank you very much. I think you got my boy sick. I made him sick. <laughs> One sip of beer made this guy throw up. Dude's throwing up. The what? Dude's throwing up in the bathroom. Off of what? I don't know. We took out the chips and salsa and stuff, and now he's throwing up. Oh, that's <laughs> What's wrong with the salsa? Ain't nothing wrong with salsa. Kevin's an excellent cook. His focus on making great food, I think he can be an excellent asset. You've done this for 14 years? I've never seen anything like this before. This is ridiculous. This guy should be shut the hell down. Let's, Let's go. go in there. So what's interesting about this club is it's a members only club. Okay. So if you walked up to it, Tony, without a membership card they, tonight, they wouldn't let me in. This club was grandfathered in to allow smoking in a state that doesn't allow smoking. OK. But 21.8% of the population smokes here, which is the highest concentration of smokers in America. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it's the only smoking establishment in this area when you consider them. We see this as an asset, mm -hmm. and we work with it. Right. So there's our owner, Bill. This is the guy who tells the staff to overpour. Good night, started. It's the perfect illustration of irresponsibility. Mm -hmm. There's Ryan. That's Bill's son. Wait. He only works here part time. Do you want the whiskey chilled or warm? There's Liz. She's the managing partner. She supposedly has some equity in the business and has an arrangement with Bill, the owner, to buy it over in a period of time. Happy birthday. There's Shauna drinking behind the bar. She's one of your bartenders. OK. And smoking a cigarette behind the bar. Yeah. It's against health code. There's no smoking allowed, yeah. right, Tony? It's not yeah. even debatable. Oh. A cigarette holding oh. over the right beer above glass. The beer. Mm. So I don't give a <laughs> if the customers are allowed to smoke in that room. The employees are not. No. That's right. That's totally inappropriate. Mm -hmm. So for recon, we're sending in right. non-members. 
Angela and Paul. John Spies enter Casey's Bar and Grill, a 2,400 square foot space with a C-shaped bar with two speed wells and a makeshift kitchen in the back. Can I help you? Two fireballs and a football. Yes. In addition to the cameras following Casey's staff, surveillance cameras have been placed around the bar for John to observe the service from a customer's point of view. And there's Albert working the door. Let's see how they greet them. You guys got a membership with you? No. You guys actually have to have a membership with you. We just want to get a drink or whatever. We're not allowed to do that. We just, just uh, That's ridiculous. Say it. But here's how to be a member. Say it. I know, man. It's the rules of being a private club. You have to be a member. Right. Say it. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. All right, whatever, man. Yeah, nothing. All he had to do was Why say, can't let you in tonight, but being a member is really easy. He could have gotten two members. Yep. They never come back. They didn't seem like they want new people coming in. We're good paying customers, so they're basically turning away business. <laughs> so guys, we got two locals from the members list. Eric and Brandy used to do recon for us. I'm dying to see what happens here tonight. I'm in the mood for a dirty martini. This place is a joke. Just keep on <laughs> you don't need to overpour to make someone buzz and happy. Make them a good drink. And a pint glass, Tony. You see that? It's huge. So either there's an obscene amount of liquor in that, or it's olive juice. One of the much. two. Oh, she's putting her hand. Oh, oh she's the been same hand she was in smoking with. Oh, handling money. Can you do it without the ice? Switch it to another glass. No one ice? No. Whenever I order a martini, I expect it to be up unless I request it to be on the rocks. So she just dumped that all into a glass. Yeah, I'll take them out. That's cool. <coughs> now the customer has to reach in and get that olive out. That's just lazy. Oh. I think Ryan's got it. The martini is crap. Oh, she doesn't like it. I would have walked out by now. Shauna. I want an order of mozzarella sticks, a couple of um, Swiss and bacon burgers, medium rare. I guarantee you, medium rare, medium. Well, whatever. That's cooking 101. Right. All right, so we got a few hamburgers going down. Do you see the fryer? I do. It's bubbling. There is a layer of gunk on the bottom of that fryer that is not allowing it to fry properly. There's that. OK, well, she's eating. Look at her look on her face. Yeah, she's chewing that over. Oh, you know how you have that mozzarella that's so hard? She can barely swallow this. Look at her. Wow, she's still chewing. She's been chewing 20 seconds, 30 seconds, the same bite. Hold on. This is a world class chew. She's in 40 seconds. Are we going to make a minute? The one minute no, chew. Here we go. Yes! No. The one minute chew. I'm not sure I can eat that. Maybe the burgers will be better. Hopefully. Uh, How are you doing, Shelly? You ready for a beer? Thank you. I'm almost certain we ordered bacon cheeseburgers, right? Oh, yeah, we did. No bacon. Oh, the great chunk of meat. Because it wasn't cooking properly. It's not high enough. I'm not impressed. No. Not by a long shot. Not a I'm not gonna eat that. Anything else you guys not normal? Look at her, she's just angry and pissed. Look at her face. Shauna. Shauna. She's done for the night. Can we get two kamikaze shots? She's really ignoring the customer right now. I'll make it. You stay over here. Liz jumped in. She's now making the kamikaze. Thanks, Liz. Anytime. Oh, hi. <laughs> she just looked someone off. Yes, she did. Look at them. They're in shock. And they're members. They paid for the right to be in this room. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what just happened? That? What? What the? Oh! oh. Uh. A raccoon! Oh, my God. Raccoon? Yes. Oh. Wildlife in the bar. You might just have rats crawling across the table. This is you know that thing is everywhere. Oh, look! Raccoon! That is so unsanitary. Guys, I can't I can't look at this anymore. I'm done. Unbelievable!
raccoon. There's Crystal. She's one of the bartenders. There's another bartender, Sterling. She's really fast. You can hear it. I went to flare bartending. Oh, she's feeling good. This is ridiculous. Hey, ladies, how are you? Hi, how are you? Can I get for you guys? Uh, can I get a whiskey soda? Whiskey soda? Yeah. Do you guys do margaritas? Um, we do, but we can only do it on the rocks. I can only do it on the rocks. So they don't use mixing cups. They use the soda machine to fill the drinks because they don't have soda guns. Oh, my God. That's a first. Well, he originally bought this place as a pizza restaurant, so that soda tower is probably left over from that. Look at the bar. You see any plumbing? Wow. I see cubby holes. They have one three compartment sink that they would wash things in. All the things we take for granted. Ice bins, right. speed wells, workstations, drain rails, drink rails. They don't have any of these things. There you go, darling. And I'm working on yours right now. Thank you so much. Um, what am I doing? How many different spots does she have to go to to make a drink? Right there. Good, how are you doing? There's a reason a bar set up the way it is. It keeps the bartender stationary, it keeps them in front of the customer's face, and everything they need is in front of them. Every time you have to step away from that thing, it's costing you money because it's costing you time. They're spending more time running around than they are serving, and that's just not a recipe for success. Oh, is that going to be sweet? Look at the color of yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. Would you like a drink, honey? Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> the second I took a sip out of this. That was the grossest drink I've ever had in my entire I life. I can't even describe it. <laughs> Sterling, need some beers over here. Yeah, have another drink, buddy. All his answers are in the bottom of that glass. Sorry, can we please have an order? Yeah, our food? Great. Um, I think I'm going to try the roast beef. OK. Can I do the turkey ham and cheese? Sure. And then um, can we split just a pepperoni pizza? Yeah. OK, there it is. It printed. Oh, my gosh. No one's in the kitchen. So we'll see how long it takes for them to cook this order. Is there, is there fresh popcorn or no? Look at the way he's dressed in his own bar. And as an owner, you should always dress a little better than your customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I work in Irvine at 7 a.m. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things, but I ain't seen that. Hmm. Wow. OK, finally, she's here. Let's see how many minutes in we are. Oh, we're 12 minutes in. 12 minutes in. Ew, what went in the microwave? Straight out the freezer. Plastic bag that of is, lunch meat? Yes, it's plastic. Oh, oh, look, it's about to. Oh, Ooh, my gosh. Look at that. What is that? What's a that? scoop of powder and water. <gasps> what is she making? I think it is a jus. Oh, look at that roast beef. Oh! Oh! So she's bringing the meat to temperature that way. Oh! Oh, that's This gross. is going to kill somebody. You guys want small or tall? Tall. Tall? Three talls? <laughs> Always doing deals with them. Why isn't he doing something to make it better? That's what's bothering me, John, is that in any of this, it doesn't look like there's a fight. I mean, at least if my lights are turned off and I can't pay my bills, I would be working behind the bar, making sure everybody's good, improving anything I can. This guy's sitting down having a drink. Like, life is amazing. OK, finally. Turkey sandwich. And yours, the rest is coming right now. Oh, just one. Not not even both sandwiches were delivered. I've never seen turkey. Like, this is not turkey. Oh, question. Yeah. Does that look weird, or am I just being weird? The turkey? Don't weird. They don't, OK. Turkey came out the freezer, went to the microwave. It's got to be like rubber. Yes. No, I think it's fine. If it's going to take 30 minutes, this should be the best darn food you've ever had. How'd that pizza come out? Pizza looks so good. Uh, this we're weirded out about. I don't know. What do you? Is that turkey? Yeah, but that's a weird question. All right. Finally, it looks like Dave is actually doing something. I'll tell you. I'll tell you if it's all right. 
Good luck. Yeah, I mean, it tastes good. Nope. He's just going to eat their freaking sandwich. Are you getting up or what? No. What are they doing now? You want to light it? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to kill myself. Did you put, put it in there? Did you put a match in the drink? No, do not put a match inside of a drink. Hey! I just want to put a spear in my eyes. This is unbelievable. Too bad it's not mixed with anything. No, don't drink it. Because hey. he isn't going to get off his ass and help his wife get out of this mess. I'm going to. I'm going in. All right. See you guys later. So for recon tonight, you know who I got? His wife. I don't know. When I agreed to that, I wasn't watching this, pal. Hey, or your wife. I've sent my wife into work. Oh, I know you have. So the logic was, we have to send somebody in who represents the market, not the bar. It's who should be in this bar. Oh, boy. Good luck, baby. I love you. John's recon spies enter Rhythm and Bruce. 1,600 square foot space, featuring an L-shaped bar with two speed wells and a stage in the northwest corner of the building. In addition to the cameras following the Rhythm and Brews staff, surveillance cameras have been placed around the bar as John, Kate, and Chef Capon observe from the SUV. Do you have a drink list? We do not. There's Jolene. She's a bartender. What kind of wine do you have? I have no wine. No wine. No, no wine. No, no drink customers. list. These guys aren't catering to their market. They're beneath it. They need some high-end, sophisticated wines and spirits to capture their market. I can make margaritas right now. You want a Cosmo? Oh, margarita is perfect. Now, margarita is the most popular drink in America. Right. If a bartender can make anything. You better be able to make a margarita. First of all, you never shake it with the glass up. The glass can go flying and hurt somebody. We're going to push it up against her body. She doesn't know how to separate it. Oh. Oh. To the glass. So the glass that's been sitting on the bar, her hand went on it, she shook it with it, and now she's using it as a strainer. You actually can see people's facial muscles tighten from the sourness. Look, there it is. <laughs> it's two brothers that own this bar. They've owned it for 11 years. There's Steve. You can tell who Steve is. He's wearing a black shirt. There's his brother, Eric, who's in a blue shirt. Put it out. <laughs> they do well for a few years. Now, they're losing thousands of dollars a month. They're in debt 700,000, and it gets worse. Can I help you to your table? Yeah, you can just give me this. They're letting everybody destroy their lives. They're doing nothing about saving themselves. There's Stu, a third brother. Uh, oh, wrong part. <laughs> well, I think of my mind, sorry. Look at this. There's a customer who just walked into the kitchen. That order with Ravioli. Ravioli, yeah. Look how comfortable he was walking in. You know he's walking those doors. Of course he has. Not the first time. Oh, I had a ravioli. Where's the ravioli? This guy is a doormat. He's being walked all over. These guys are the biggest wimps in the world. Hey, Eric. Eric. Look at that huge do not enter sign. Do what not a joke. enter. Well, they got a pizza oven. You know, you know how many bars try to cook pizza without a pizza oven? That's an asset in a bar business. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. Low cost, high profit. There's a tank. That's Pablo. Put in the that sauce cheese? over the cheese. Have you ever seen the cheese go on before the sauce? No. The sauce is going to burn, well, and the cheese won't brown. This guy is ass backwards. Is that exposed countertop? That's the rusted freezer. That's the top of a residential top load freezer. You know how that gets like that? Somebody either sitting on it or sleeping on it. That doesn't happen. What the hell is that? There's icicles. Is that insulation? What is that? Oh, my God. Where do you think all that insulation is in the food? And that's not wrapped up. Oh. Fiberglass is made from glass that's pulled into thin fibers. If it gets into food, it could kill somebody. It's incredibly dangerous. Fiberglass should be nowhere near food. Look at this freaking guy. Unbelievable. He's grabbing his own chicken fingers or mozzarella sticks, whatever it is, and throwing it in the fryer. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish my order first, please. Poor guy. What happens if they burn themselves? They get sued for a couple million. Come on, seriously. He's working. I'm almost done. What are you making? Why don't you let him make it? 
clothes. I like making it myself. They don't care. It's a free for all. New York burgers. You don't get them nowhere else. Uh, no more meat. All the they customers took all the beef. Yeah. The other people ate everything, so it's no more. That's it. No more hamburgers. And this is not just today. This is all the time. And when I try to say something, they don't like it. They, f they think I'm the stupid. You know, it's unbelievable to me. Are these people walking in and out of this kitchen and cooking this food? If they can walk in the kitchen, why can't you? You probably could. Why don't you go in there and make us a pizza? You guys hungry? Yeah, go make us up. Can you believe what we're watching? <laughs> So he just walked right in. Look at it. Nobody says a word. Not a word. Hey, como esta? How are you, senor? Good. We could all be in there cooking. Yeah. What's your name? Pablo. Pablo? Yes. Let's make a pizza, Pablo. <sighs> Cheese goes on top of the sauce. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Excuse me. I'm out of your way, Pablo. Why, why you guys bother me today? Why you, everybody freaking. Yes, give me a loan, let me work. Let me do my job, please. Amazing. Never seen anything like it. OK, muchas gracias, all right? I'll see you later. Now, the only thing I would ever eat from this kitchen is a pizza, because it was brought up to 500 degrees. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, it's the only safe thing in the whole damn place. 10 minutes, because you grew up. Well, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. We'll take a little pizza. See you later. Just walked right out with a pizza. No one said a word. Took the pan, too. <laughs> hey, did you guys order a pizza? I made your beautiful pizza. This is a bar rescue first. It's the first time I have ever been able to send a chef into another restaurant, walk into their kitchen, cook us a meal, and bring it out. Bring it out. Why don't we have a slice of pizza, everybody? Come on. You know, the basic dough is OK. And the oven works like a charm. The oven was nice and hot. And he actually cleaned it out for me, Pablo. You know how many bars we'd kill for That's that oven? Just, yeah, I would. So, we have never had owners get walked on like this. Clientele's killing the business, and they're disrespectful. Every year, the nicer customers left. Yep. So now you're fostering the clientele that doesn't want to spend high-end money. They don't really care about your establishment, and that's all you have left. I feel bad. I'm a bad husband right now. Hmm. Can you guys just try to behave a little bit? Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Stupidness. That's stupidness, all right? I expect a tough rescue, that's why I'm here. I did not expect owners that are clearly not doing anything to run their business. I've had this place under surveillance for three days. As a professional, you are not gonna believe what you're about to see. Watch this. So there's Scott and Donna, husband and wife. There's the daughter, Aaliyah, 21 years old, is trying to save this place. But here's the kicker, Russell. They're driving a motorcycle in. In an enclosed space with food around with carbon monoxide. That engine is running. This guy's burning rubber inside the bar. Do not let people go stupid And they're excited about it. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This is going to be a rough one, man. Well, Russell, I wanted to give us a good recon. I got us some tourist who's going to go in and sit at the bar. The future of this bar lies in Interstate 17. That's where the gold is, because there's no town here to support this bar. Hopefully, we'll get some good information from this. These owners always have a drink in their hands, don't they? But it's nobody else's. It's their own, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Lovers, campaigners. <laughs> Hi there. How you doing? What can I get you today? With a beer in her hand, too. That's our tradition out here. Once one person does it, they all got to do it. Look at this pour. Every time she uses one of those cups, she's pouring like two to three ounces. That's almost a full bottle of alcohol. Scott, fireball. Yeah. Wow, how uncomfortable she looks. A bar like this that's on an interstate has to be able to target multiple age groups. Think of the hundreds of guests that have had that experience and not come back here. Want to okay. talk dirty to me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I can think of something else we can go do. In the back somewhere. <laughs> I'll do the barbecue chicken here. Okay. Yeah. Turn me sideways. Bend me like a pretzel. <laughs> I feel like my vagina is a pretzel.
I can't stand her. She's rude. She's obnoxious. That bartender's name is Yum Yum. And she's drinking too. I gotta get a cigarette. Okay. I gotta get a cigarette. What the hell? Are you in a bad mood, Aaliyah? Oh, I will be now. And there's the owner, another shot. Another shot. Quite a bit of alcohol to push back in one swallow. It's not even 9 o'clock, Russell. Yeah. Can we have shots, 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 shots? You can. Now I want to see in the kitchen. That's Tommy, the kitchen manager. And he's doing prep in the middle of dinner. And that's Matt, the line cook. How much longer on my barbecue chicken? Yeah, it'll be ready in just a minute. Look at this. They dunked it in barbecue sauce. So it's not real barbecue. It's barbecue-flavored food. This sign on this building says, badass barbecue. There is no barbecue here. Just doused in barbecue sauce. Let's see what she thinks of it. All right. Covered. It was really just jar of sauce on your chicken. It was horrible. We ate dinner here last night, and I had to do the same thing. I had to sit it back and get something else. How's everything taping? It's very heavily covered well, in barbecue. Okay. You want me to get you something else? What the hell? This is Black Canyon City. There's some people that are mad about their food. I'm going to buy them some shots of like, do it. She's mad about her food. Are you buying her another shot? What she need? You were mad about your food, too? Yeah, she just didn't like it. Can we get her a shot, too? Oh, I don't need one. This is really not a good way to fix our food, but let's have fun with it. Jesus I really just wanted to sit down, maybe have a glass of water. Not really a hard liquor drink. Just a little too much for me to handle, especially since I told them I was driving. Hey! How loud that owner is. It's loud and obnoxious. Shot, shot, shot! What happened? Holy oh, oh, my God. oh, my God. That's why you're not supposed to have stamped horses in the bar. What would have happened if that horse had broken their leg? That's disgusting. <laughs> and she's laughing. She thinks this is funny. Look, I got so scared it, like, pooped. Oh, he crapped on the floor. Oh. You almost fell on my table. I'm sitting there going, this ain't his first rodeo. We've all done this one before. Spots rode a horse in the bar. Everybody's rode a horse in the bar. You rode a it. horse in the bar when you're pissed, mother This is awesome. We just saw a horse crap on the floor in a bar. I'm going in. I gotta go to work, man. I'll see you inside later. Good luck, John. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.